First, let's have a look at an interesting phenomenon. White light can be dispersed into seven homogeneous lights after being refracted by a prism, and through the prism, the seven colors of light can be combined into white light. Just like a prism combining the seven colors of light, a WDM system multiplexes lights of different colors and transmits them through an optical fiber. In a WDM system, lights of different colors are usually distinguished by different wavelengths. An optical fiber is divided into multiple channels, and the wavelengths are spaced and separately transmitted in the optical fiber. Imaging the WDM system is a traffic system. An optical fiber can be regarded as a multi-lane public road. Each type of service is packed and loaded to specific vehicle, just like cargoes. Each of the vehicles runs over its assigned lane and conveys the cargoes to the destination. To improve the transport capacities of the traffic system. It is necessary to constantly raise the speed limit and transport capacities of the vehicles, and to add more lanes. Likewise, to expand the transport capacities of the WDM system, it is necessary to boost the transmission rate and bandwidth utilization of single wavelength, and to increase the number of channels in an optical fiber. With the soaring demands for higher bandwidth. And the rise of high-speed services, the traditional single wavelength 2.5G and 10G bits per second systems are no longer enough to fulfill service needs, and the rate of single wavelength is evolving to 40G, 100G, and even 400G bits per second. The high-speed transport system, however, faces a series of restrictions and challenges, such as requirements for higher OSNR. Decrease of dispersion tolerance and PMD tolerance, intensified nonlinear effects of fibers, and cost resulting from increased spectrum bandwidth. To address these issues, Huawei presents the coherent transmission solution, which uses EPDM QPSK, EPDM BPSK modulation codes, and advanced technologies such as coherent detection. To realize reliable transmission of high-speed signals, as the single wavelength transmission rate increases, the capacity of single wavelength also grows. In a traditional WDM system, one wavelength carries only one service, or carries multiple services of the same type. After the services are converged, using the traditional WDM technologies. Each service occupies one wavelength, which results in low bandwidth utilization in a large capacity multi-service network. Now, such problems can be easily solved by the OTN technology. An OTN network adopts a structure where tributary boards and line boards are separated, and services are grouped based on ODUK granularities. Client service of any rate are transmitted to tributary boards. And aggregated into the ODUK pipe with help of OTN cross connections, services of small granularities can be freely aggregated into a large granularity ODUK pipe. Implementing flexible grooming of ODUK granularities, the services are then transmitted by the line board. In this way, hybrid transmission of multiple types of services through the same wavelength is realized. Which are well aligned with requirements of large capacity multi-service networks. Increasing the number of channels is another major method for expanding the transport capacities of WDM and OTN systems. So far, the number of channels in a single optical fiber has been increased from eight, sixteen to forty and eighty. Generally, a DWDM system supports forty channels or eighty channels. With a fixed channel spacing of 100 GHz or 50 GHz, respectively. Furthermore, with a growing transmission rate of single wavelength, the spectrum of optical signals is broadened gradually. In the fixed spectral mode, however, bandwidth cannot be flexibly allocated. For example, a 400 Gbps per second signal requires two fixed channel spacings. 
that is a bandwidth of 100 G Hertz. This is where flexible grid comes into play. The flexible grid technology improves allocation flexibility and spectrum utilization. With flexible grid, the spectrum is divided into smaller units, and high-speed signals can occupy multiple spectrum units, while the central frequency can be flexibly configured. Using this technology, 400 G bits per second signals occupy only a bandwidth of 75 GHz. To sum up, flexible grid saves bandwidth, improves spectrum utilization, and means more available channels in the same spectrum. With flexible grid, future WDM OTN systems can also support 1T and 2T bits per second transmission rates over a single wavelength. Let's just wait and be amazed.